back to this uh, story that we have been covering about Sean Diddy Combs and your client who has accused him of rape um, and sexual assault. And this went back to 2018. Now, when you were on our show last week, you said the police were working with you on this case. You wanted to get the report. We talked about this. You said things were going smoothly, but now it's not. So when did that change? Last night, actually, wow. I got an email from them, uh, the county, not the city police, that then said I needed a subpoena to get the records, which I think we all know about Freedom of Information Act, which requires a public information be given freely. That's why it's a federal law. So I've never experienced in any situation where I have been told I needed a subpoena to get public information. I was floored. I was shocked. And it was apparent to me that some type of cover up is going on. Wow. I mean, when you asked them, what, what's the problem? Did they, were they able to tell you anything more? Or was a shut down? You need a subpoena. It was, you need a subpoena, which was not what they told me initially. Wow. Initially, they just said, all I needed to do was send a letter on my letterhead with my client's information, the date of the report and the report number, and that they would get the information out to me within 10 days. I even inquired if they needed any money to accomplish that because a lot of precincts, they charge like X amount of per, uh, cents per page, 10 cents, 25 cents, mm -hmm. or they'll give you a flat fee. Um, and I was requesting body cam footage, the actual report and any subsequent amendments to that report and they completely shut me down. I've never experienced this in my life. Wow, well, what's your next move with this case? I know that you were also talking about trying to see if there was a rape kit too, right? Yes, I did discover, I had a four hour conversation with my client today. We pretty much went over the fact portion, as I told you on Friday that I was writing the, the complaint this week. And so we were doing the fact portion of her complaint today and I did find out that she went to two different places. She went to her primary care doctor, and then she also went to the hospital. There has been some explosive things she said in reference to when the police were called at the time of the assault immediately thereafter with the neighbor and what transpired thereafter. And um, even when the police came to the hospital, because when she went to the hospital, they did call a different precinct to come in, but it's, very weird and odd that no one is giving me. She even said they sent her a letter. Uh, the police sent her a letter saying that if she wanted to get her own police report, she needed a subpoena. And I've never heard anything like this. It goes against federal law. Uh, the Orenda police are in violation of federal law. And I will make sure if they want to be the next face in a lawsuit, they can be the next. Wow. And it's good to know, too, that she there as a, that there are other doctors involved. Um, so there has to be reports somewhere, too. So you're talking about a paper trail um, of cases that hopefully you'll be able to get your hands on as well. Thanks for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your screen. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.